Please welcome back co-founder and co-CEO, Scott Farquhar. Let's do it again for Chris Krauss Project. That's amazing. Welcome to the ITSM keynote. I started listening to the Beatles again recently when their new documentary came out. And watching this documentary gave me great insight into what made them so incredible. It made me think about their success in an entirely new light. You see, the Beatles' success wasn't just about their songwriting abilities, nor was it their individual talent, style, or stage presence, all of which they had. It was that together, the Beatles were the best band of all time. And despite dealing with tension, disagreements, and internal and external forces beyond their control, they unleashed the creative potential in one another and in those around them. Now, the Beatles' real superpower was their ability to come together despite all the adversity they faced to achieve true greatness. And in many ways, legendary service management teams operate much like legendary rock bands. Greatness isn't just about the individual. Instead, individual rock stars across IT, development, and the rest of the business come together to produce greatness as a team. And at Atlassian, we believe every team and every organization has the potential to achieve Beatles' levels of greatness. Now, three years ago, we made a bet on the power of teamwork. We came together to rethink service management. We stood on a stage much like this one, and we made some big promises. We promised a, a product that would deliver value fast, that would improve visibility across the work that's happening in your organization, and unite teams across your entire company. And simply put, we promised a better alternative to the legacy products that existed, but just weren't getting the job done. The result was Jira Service Management. Atlassian has built the only solution that puts together dev, IT, and the business on the same service delivery platform. It lets these teams collaborate at high velocity to deliver exceptional customer service experiences. And today, I'm thrilled that over 40,000 of you trust Jira Service Management. Or because we're Australian and we shorten everything, JSM. Let's look at two of these fantastic customers. The first, Ginkgo Bioworks, is a rapidly growing synthetic biology company. Their goal is to make it as easy to program a cell as it is to program a computer. Now, Ginkgo Bioworks have helped their customers to improve the production of COVID-19 vaccines. They've helped their customers make farming more sustainable. And they've helped their customers build sustainable dyes that do less damage to the environment. This company is a true pioneer in the field of synthetic biology. Ginkgo Bioworks' software development and biology teams were using Jira software to track DNA design. However, their operations team was using a different service management platform. So sad. They switched to JSM to ensure better alignment between dev and operations. Now, the choice of Atlassian versus other legacy tools is pretty simple. Not only did choosing JSM save time and money, but it was incredibly popular. Just like the Beatles taking off in their early days, word traveled fast. Teams across the organization, from environmental, health and safety, to lab operations, and even business development, all wanted to set up their own service workflows in JSM. And today, Jira Service Management is the enterprise backbone for Ginkgo Bioworks. Now, let's talk about a very different customer, St. Gobain. Originally founded in 1665 as the Royal French manufacturer of mirrors for King Louis XIV. Let's think about that for a moment. Uh, they're now a manufacturing company with over 167,000 employees across 70 countries. And whilst they may be one of the oldest manufacturers in the world, their ITSM strategy is state-of-the-art. And it's been this ability to adapt and transform with the times that has ensured their success over three and a half centuries. During the global pandemic, St. Gobain embarked on a major initiative 
to improve the alignment between their dev and operations teams. And by replacing ServiceNow with JSM, they cut costs by 70% in the first year alone, were up and running in a matter of weeks, and made significant, significant productivity gains by putting DevOps on the same platform. Our customer stories like this have also pushed industry analysts to take note. Gartner Research named Atlassian a visionary in the 2021 Magic Quadrant for ITSM and the fastest growing product in this evaluation. Now, Atlassian was the first vendor to be named a visionary in this category in seven years, which validates our approach to ITSM. We also named, we're also named a leader by Forrester Research in their latest wave for enterprise service management, which looks at the potential for service management practices not just in your IT teams, but all the way across your business. But Atlassian, we're always striving to be better. Today, we're going to share with you our most recent advancements in vision and vision for Jira service management, and to give you a complete picture about how we're helping modern operations teams and modern support teams come together on a single platform, I'd like you to welcome to the stage Amitha. It's exciting to be here with all of you. Thank you, Scott. In the next couple of minutes, I'm going to step you through the advancements we're continuing to make to help modern operations teams become truly legendary. Scott's comments got me thinking about how music, much like everything else in our lives, is evolving and changing. Take it from me, I thought music had peaked with Air Supply and Journey, and then I found Ed Sheeran. My tastes have certainly changed. While the Beatles remain timeless, countless bands have come and gone. You only have to look at the Billboard Hot 100, right? It's both a revolving door and a historical bookmark of how our tastes have evolved and changed over time and what's popular and relevant at any given point in time. Much like music, all of our businesses have had to evolve really fast in recent years to stay relevant. And that's meant dealing with new tools, new team structures and dynamics, and new practices. For those of you in IT operations, that's meant dealing with a lot of complexity just so your businesses can keep pace with change. Remember the days working with a simple client-server or three-tier architecture? Well, those days are well and truly over. Today, your teams work with increasingly complex cloud services infrastructure with dependencies on multiple teams often working in a remote environment. You're working with incredibly aggressive timelines when it comes to responding to business changes and incidents. Now more than ever, your dev and ops teams need to work together. But legacy tools often fall short of this mission. And traditional processes and team dynamics just don't fly, often leaving your teams feeling siloed and stranded. With all these challenges, how do your modern operations teams reach their full rock star potential? At Atlassian, we're investing in a new movement, one where development and IT operations are fundamentally changing how they partner to deliver great products and services. We're helping IT ops empower their dev counterparts with the tools and practices they need to run fast and fettered. It's the kind of autonomy that respects the individual subject matter expertise and the value of the collective potential. You're probably all wondering, eh? all this sounds great, Amitha, but doesn't all this autonomy lead to chaos? This just has risk written all over it, right? Well, we see a world where autonomy is balanced with alignment. You're right. Autonomy without alignment leads to siloed teams often working at odds with each other. On the flip side, a fixation on alignment with no autonomy means your teams just aren't empowered to do their best work. It's the balance between the two that brings out the very best in teams and transforms them from legacy to legendary. Let's dive in. In the next couple of minutes, I'm going to step you through the advancements we're continuing to make so your developers become a lot more autonomous and can ship code faster, and your IT operations teams can rest assured that work is aligned and doesn't introduce risk to the business. Let's start with developers. But before we go there, for those of you in IT operations, 
When was the last time you heard a development team's kind of upset with you because they're waiting on you to review and approve a change? If we all listen really close, you can probably hear folks mumbling this morning. If you're in development, have you ever asked the question, why does this change need to be approved? You're right, in an ideal world, code would go straight from development into IT operations. No risk, no problems, immediate value realized. We all wish it were that easy, but it's not always the case. One false step in production has huge consequences. What do you end up doing? You put in more checks and balances, like a change approval process that ends up taking the autonomy away from your developers. You end up asking your developers whose jam is really all about writing great code to instead spend hours filling out change request forms, copying information from one tool to the next, and engaging in this game of ping pong with IT operations. The end result? It could take days, even weeks, for a simple change to go through. It's like when your favorite artist or band has already shipped over their latest album to the label, but it's not out yet. What's the holdup? We all want our hands on the new stuff, right? Much like that, your developers just want to speed changes through, but your IT operations team needs to feel confident that work is aligned and doesn't introduce risk to the business. How do you balance that? With Jira service management, your developers can say goodbye to creating manual change requests forever. How does it work? Jira service management connects directly with your favorite CI CD tools, like Bitbucket, Jenkins, CircleCI, and Octopus Deploy. So as a change goes through the pipeline, a change request is automatically created in Jira service management. And all the information about that code and the deployment is included in that request. Your developers will love it because it saves them time and lets them go back to what they do best, writing code. And your IT operations team will love it too because they now have a full record of all the changes going through. Great. You've automated this process of creating change requests. If you're in IT operations and had to manually approve these changes, you'd never see the light of day. Here's where the risk assessment engine in Jira Service Management takes over. It acts as a sorting station, assessing risks as they flow from dev into IT operations. You can configure rules so low-risk changes are auto-approved and deployed, while the high-risk changes are immediately routed to the right teams for review and approval. But what about those medium-risk changes, those changes that are not as risky and probably don't need a full manual review? Well, with Jira Service Management, you can configure more advanced rules and workflows to let a change soak first to minimize risk. What's that? Instead of auto-approving and deploying a change, your change managers get to conditionally approve a change, push it to a lower-tier environment. If there aren't incidents in a given period of time, it automatically gets pushed to production. It's like a band playing an unreleased song at a private show before they take it to the big stage. As you can see, with Jira Service Management, we are building these great connections between different members of a modern operations band across development and IT operations. Let's take a look at one last example. It's a development change to an online banking app. It's a critical service. It has a high change risk. Now, what's really cool is that with Jira Service Management, your change manager automatically gets informed when there's an ongoing incident affecting a dependent service. Looks like there's one going on right now. So she can quickly drill into this request and see crucial information like which engineering team is responsible for that service and who's on call to fix that incident. Now, given there's an ongoing incident, she's going to make the right call to hold off on that change. Jira Service Management gives great insights to make better decisions, and that's thanks to the asset and configuration management capabilities that are now in the premium and enterprise editions. We've just shown you how we give your developers a lot more autonomy so they can speed changes through, and how your IT ops teams can feel a lot more confident that work is aligned. But you aren't dealing with just one change to one service across the whole organization, are you? You're dealing with lots of changes, lots of teams trying to deploy these changes, 
and they're likely linked to services, to services that are all linked to each other. How do you coordinate these changes so they do not take down critical systems and services? It's difficult scheduling anything in life, right? Even something as a simple catch-up with a group of friends. So imagine how difficult it gets when you're trying to precisely schedule a change with dependencies on other changes. Change scheduling requires a lot of coordination, and Jira service management makes that process a lot easier. With the new change scheduling capabilities, your change managers get this bird's eye view of all the changes planned across your organization. They can navigate freeze and maintenance windows, and when they schedule a change on the calendar, they automatically get alerted to potential conflicts, including ongoing incidents. This makes the rollout of changes a lot easier. We've just shown you how we bring dev and ops teams together to speed changes through to production. But to become truly legendary, your teams need to continuously refine and optimize how they work together over time. Back to our music metaphor. Now, humor me for a second and think about your favorite band. Now, it may not be Air Supply or Journey or Ed Sheeran, for that matter, but good on you if it is. What made them successful? They were successful because they took the time to find and refine their sound until it was something truly special. There's a lot that modern operations and support teams can learn from this philosophy. Play together as a team, move fast, and refine and optimize over time. But the question is, where do you start? How do you uncover what's working today and where the opportunities for improvement lie? This is where Atlassian Analytics can help. As you probably heard in the earlier keynote, it's powered by the data lake and the Atlassian platform. So think of it as a data store that aggregates information about your everyday work. Your teams can leverage pre-built reports and dashboards that they can tailor to track performance over time. Let's look at this in action. Let's look at that same bank's transaction services team's dashboard. What's really cool is that you can track performance like the deployment time with data coming from your dev tooling, that's the yellow line on the screen, along with the incident frequency, the red line on the screen from your ops tooling, and it's all in one view. Now, as you can see, the rate of the, the deployment time is at a record low, probably due to all those great improvements you made to that change enablement process earlier. And the rate of incidents has stayed, stayed fairly steady throughout, which is great. Here's what's unique about Atlassian Analytics. Unlike traditional ITSM, where you're typically looking at one half of the picture from data from your ITSM solution, we let you combine data from different tools across your dev and ops stack so you get much richer insights to make better decisions. With Atlassian Analytics, your INO leadership team also gets a great overview of how the full organization is performing. Remember, live data feeds that data lake, so they can track performance against organizational goals in real time to make better prioritization decisions. We've just stepped through how rich insights help you fine-tune performance and how we're helping modern operations teams become truly legendary, how we're empowering individuals and teams with the autonomy to run fast, do their very best work without sacrificing that tight alignment that's needed to make sure your critical services are always up and running. If you think what Scott and I shared was pretty cool, wait till you hear from my colleague Sharif. Please join me in welcoming Sharif to share how we help modern support teams become truly legendary. <laughs> That is so awesome. Thank you, Amida. I hope you're all excited with what we're doing with dev and ops teams. Now, let's look at the other half, how IT support and business teams come together to deliver an exceptional experience for all your employees. For years now, Jira Service Management has helped all teams deliver an amazing service. And it's not just IT teams, but finance, legal, marketing, and beyond. Now with a community of over 40,000 customers. So thank you to everyone here and everyone on the live stream. Really appreciate your support. In the next few minutes, I'm going to step you through our recent advancements in how we've helped employees and service teams be more autonomous than ever before. 
if you haven't picked up a big theme in the conference so far already, is that we want to help all teams to work differently, but equally as important, together. And after that, I'll spend a little bit of time sharing a vision into what we think the future of support might play out to be. So let's start with autonomous teams. Think back in the last two years. So I want you to think of all the policies and procedures that had to change time and time again, how we address time off, office access requests, travel requests, remote work policies. Everything had to adapt and change on the fly. Now, for business teams that had to rely on a centralized IT department, it often meant they were waiting weeks or sometimes months for the simplest of changes. Why? Because IT was inundated with requests. That's why we believe it is super important for us to provide every team with the autonomy to spin up new services and change them in this ever-changing landscape. To enable you to respond to this, we are stoked to share that Jira Service Management now ships with a low-code, no-code form builder. How does this help? What? Thank you. <laughs> How does this help? Well, you can now equip any team in your organization across any department with the ability to create simple service request forms that can define what they should look like, as well as what information they would like captured. And your business teams can speed up the process of creating these forms by simply getting started with one of over our 300 templates that we ship out of the box. Everything from legal contract reviews, change requests, HR requests, finance requests. There's even one for catering requests. Now, I don't know about you guys, but like, I'm a sucker for pastries and sweet things. So I'll probably modify the catering request template to include all my favorites, so all the meetings I go to. We've got all the stuff that I like. But on a more serious note, let me show you how easy it is to create these forms. Step one, you simply collect, uh, select your templates and then drag and drop the fields that you want. That's it. It's really that quick. This gives every team the autonomy to jumpstart and create a brilliant service experience. I think most importantly for a lot of you here in the crowd, without a heavy reliance on your departments. So next up, how do we make it really simple for employees to get help? Think about it. The way your customers and employees interact with your support teams has changed over the last few years, with almost all of you here transitioning to a, a digital-first business. That means to get help, we now have to meet customers and our employees where they are at. Now, that could be through an employee portal or email, it could be through a knowledge base article that allows someone to quickly self-serve, maybe the chat tool of their choice, or what's even more common these days, interacting with a virtual agent. And we've been rapidly innovating in each of these areas to help you and your employees get help fast. First up, let's talk about knowledge base articles. Now, what could be easier and more autonomous than a really quick search, find the article, and just resolve the issue yourself. And you've told us you want to make it easier for your agents to be able to create these impactful knowledge base articles right from within Jira Service Desk. You asked, and we've listened. We're so happy to share that we're now shipping a native knowledge base experience right from within Jira Service Management at no extra charge. So agents no longer have to leave their context to quickly create these knowledge base articles. And it uses all the power of Confluence. You can create rich and engaging content. So for example, agents can collaboratively author these knowledge base articles, which is really handy when they're reviewing each other's work and want to make sure you're saying the right things. Or they can provide contextual how-tos by embedding rich media. And you can upload the media straight to these articles or use an integration with uh, any video tool of your choice, like an internal YouTube, with over 40 integrations to choose from. You can use advanced form planning and tables to make sure your customers know what's available to them, as well as embed rich flowcharts from tools like Muro, Mural, and Figma. Great for documenting processes, as well as procedures like for employee onboarding or 
most of you might do stuff for a call center as well. Now, you can use all these editor-rich apps to make the content so much more engaging. I am more than confident you won't find a knowledge base article solution that is more powerful than this. Now, that's cool. But there are times where, of course, your employees will have to chat to someone to resolve their issues, right? And what happens when they need to do this? Where do they typically go? Maybe Slack or Microsoft Teams. Why? Well, let's be honest. It's probably how most of us want to get our questions answered, right? Today, I'm sure a lot of you will be excited to hear that the conversational ticketing capabilities from Help, one of our recent acquisitions, is now available in Jira Service Management. With conversational ticketing, we're humanizing your service delivery front lines, as well as meeting your customers where they're at. Let me dive into a demo for you. Your employees can now ask for and get help right from within Slack or Microsoft Teams. Isn't that pretty cool? Now, the beauty of this experience is it's just like any other conversation, because at the end of the day, getting help is a conversation. Now, meanwhile, every conversation that's happening in Slack automatically gets synced and converted into in, in Jira Service Management as a ticket. Now, that means your agents never have to hop around between lots of different tools. They can just stay where they're working and, and get all the work done right from within Jira Service Management. Now, this is really handy, and they have the full power of the ITSM solution here. So, you know, sometimes a request needs to be routed to another team. While a customer is talking to you in Slack, you can quickly move the ticket from another team in JSM. No need to leave your context. But, aha, some of you wise people out there are probably thinking, let's say you're working on a tight deadline for a, a big presentation with one of your company st stakeholders, like, I don't know, for example, your company CEO or something, right? And you've got to present it in front of thousands of people the next day and on a live stream forever to be seen. G'day, everyone, on the live stream. Completely unrealistic scenario, I know, but just, just go with me here. And in an effort to diversify your passwords, like the good company citizen of security that you are, you've forgotten the credentials to a key system. <laughs> it's likely just a simple password reset, but, th but there's no support agent around to help. Totally fictitious example, I know. <clears throat> but this example here is the kind of thing that's perfect for a virtual agent technology to solve, isn't it? Wouldn't it be awesome if you had 24-7 support to solve the simplest, but actually probably most frustrating requests for your employees? Percept.ai is the leading maker of AI-powered virtual agent technology. And we're super pumped they have joined the Atlassian family so that we can better solve these problems for all of you. Now, by leveraging this technology in Jira Service Management, your support teams will be able to automate away the most simplest of requests, deliver an exceptional service a whole lot faster, and most importantly, at a crazy scale. The best bit, the conversational AI engine analyzes and understands intent, context, profile information, even sentiment to give you the most relevant response. So in this case, it's pretty smart to know, aha, you're looking for a 13-inch laptop, a 16-inch laptop, not a 13-inch laptop. Pretty cool, huh? Now, you're probably thinking, that's nice, but what happens when the request might get more complex? The virtual agent also has the smarts to seamlessly transition the request to a live support agent without losing any context. I'm sure you've all been in that situation on a call with someone where you're explaining a problem, and what do they do? They hand you off to someone else, and you've got to explain the whole thing again? So frustrating. Well, no more of that. This will help you accelerate the initial triage, reduce friction, and resolve cases a whole lot faster. Your support teams will also be able to tailor this virtual agent much to the way they operate and want to deliver the service with no coding required. And finally, the technology learns from every interaction. It has a really good natural language processing engine that's better than a, the score of most of the high school exams that, that I ever did. <laughs> Bottom line, the virtual agents will just do all the hard work for you, and we're automatically resolving these mundane requests. But that means your team can now focus on the more challenging ones and scale a whole lot better. Phew! Now, that was a lot. 
And if Atlassian was an artist who put up an album every few years, we'd probably stop, take a moment, put our feet up. Why not? We're in, we're in Vegas. This is the place to do it. But that's not us. We like to think of us ourselves as a band who, who puts out new music all the time. And that's because we know there are so many opportunities to help your teams help other teams within your organization. With that in mind, I just want to spend a little bit of time sharing some thoughts and a bit of a vision into one of those opportunities. So as much as we've seen customers adopt Jira service management in all types of teams and all types of use cases, we recognize that enterprises are incredibly messy. You guys use a whole host of tools, from multiple service desk tools to custom-built systems, form builders, internal messaging tools, or even the simplest help tool of all. You use your own two feet to walk up to someone's desk and just ask for help. And at Atlassian, we believe you can't possibly standardize on one tool for all your service delivery. Wait, 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 what did Trip just say? I'll say that again. You can't possibly standardize on one tool for all your service delivery. It's just a dream that won't come true. Why? Because if you've heard anything this morning, teams are just too diverse. Their needs are so specific. You're likely going to need different tools for different teams. Now, if we accept this and move forward with this, this now raises a whole new challenge. So as an employee, where do you go to get help? Like, how many times have you heard someone say, ah, oh, I just want to get my VPN fixed, or I just want to review this contract. Your employees just want to get help and just get back to what they were doing, right? They shouldn't have to know, oh, for HR requests, I need to send an email to this shared mailbox. For IT, I need to fill out this form. For finance, I need to, you get, you get what I'm saying, right? Introducing new ways to get help is great and helps autonomous teams but it can be very overwhelming for your employees. So at Atlassian, we believe that your employees shouldn't have to know which service desk tool to go to to get help. And that's why we're excited to share our vision for a unified gateway of help across all of your enterprise. And it centers around building an experience that intelligently coordinates the routing and the resolution of these requests to any tool, regardless of where the work happens. It draws from the principles we've talked about earlier, autonomy with alignment, teams who want to work differently, but we need them to work together. And there are three simple steps to this journey, understanding and uh, receiving the request from the employee, understanding the user's intent, and then writing that to the right place for it to be resolved. Let's start the journey with an employee seeking some help. So the new experience will gather requests from their preferred channel. Now, this could be from a centralized portal, from email, a chat tool, or embedded experiences in other products, like maybe your company's internet. And the important thing here to note is conversations carry across these channels. So someone might raise a case with you in chat, but then they check the status of it in the web portal. Now, the new unified help experience analyzes this request, understands the context and the user's intent. I could say something fancy here about AI and machine learning and yada, yada, yada. The main thing you need to know is it's basically pretty smart, right? And once it's worked out what the employee was truly asking for, it can then route the request to the right tool and the right team for them to resolve it. And now that tool might be Jira Service Management, or I guess the point of what I'm saying is here is it could be any other tool. It could bring up a knowledge base article that's created in an Office document for that matter. It could, tell, uh, it could go raise a request in a marketing team's Trello board, because that's how the marketing team chooses to track their requests. Um, or a whole slew of third-party applications, like Workday, even other ITSM solutions out there, or something as simple as a form or an email. At the end of the day, we want to help your organization coordinate these writing of requests to the right tool so that your employees can help solve their problems fast. Are you excited about this vision? We are very pumped about it. And our teams are hard at work to find ways to empower every team to create a fast and accessible service experience for all your employees. And we can't wait to share our progress on this unified help vision that spans all the tools of, that all your teams use the most. 
Legendary service management operate much like legendary bands. You know, these individual rock stars come together to just create an ex incredible experience for others. And at Lassian, we're really committed to help unlock modern operations and modern support teams together by giving them the best of both worlds. Autonomy with alignment. You know what I'm about to say next. Work differently, but equally as important, together. From Scott, Amita, and myself, thank you for listening everyone here today and everyone on the, of the live stream around the world. We truly appreciate it. Thank you.